Hi, I'm Selena. Welcome to the Core Fit Lifestyle. Come do Pilates with me. This is the best kept secret on the mat. This little power prop, the weighted Pilates ball, is a fantastic tool that you can use to increase tone and strength in your body right on the mat at home. I'm beginning to strengthen up my upper back muscles, holding my body weight off of my supporting arm by using the core. The ball weighs four pounds, but the position of my shoulder anchored into my back really focuses the work in the upper back muscles. Full extensions to engage the tricep. Trying to keep the back of my head lined up with the backs of my shoulders. Moving from upper back into hamstrings and glutes. It's important to engage the hamstring to hold the ball in place. The added resistance of the weight of the ball as I lift the leg engages the glutes. Holding a steady back using my core and my navel to stabilize the lower back. There's no swinging. Everything focused in the back of the leg. Core is holding and I'm trying to keep my body weight off of my hands. And you can repeat the same series on the other side. Maintaining a flat back, engaging your core, focusing on lifting out of the supporting arm, anchoring the shoulders down. many muscles working together at the same time and by pressing down to the tops of the feet it anchors the pelvis and stabilizes the core even more this little weighted ball is a fire engine for your muscles slow and steady Squeeze and try and lift all the way up so the knee lines up with the back of the pelvis. Maximum height to fight gravity on the pulses we hold in the back. Keep firing. Heel to the sky. And as you squeeze that weighted ball between the feet, you really get the engagement through the backs of your legs. And we're gonna add some mobility for the hips, hip mobility to open and close the knees together, making sure to lift the thighs off the ground, but maintaining a nice squeeze on that weighted ball so you don't lose it. And when you're lifting, try not to hinge in the lower back. Engage the navel up into the lower back to hold from your center. And we're using the ball to roll and pull the shoulders into the back, always keeping the shoulders anchored even as the arms move forward. The navel supports the lower back. There is no hinge in the lower back. We're holding the navel up into the lower back to maintain the position of the upper body. Keep a long length in that lower back. The ball looks light, but it is really effective when you're using the small muscles in your back to rotate the shoulders. It only looks light, but it's all you need to get those nice, lovely, long muscles in the arms. This is not a tool that's gonna bulk you up. Holding the body weight off of the bottom arm, we're maintaining our shoulder in the back, engaging in the upper back for stability. Navel to the spine. Triceps now, little four pound ball, doesn't feel like four pounds up here. We are training functionally.
And again, we use this tool to train the small muscles. So all those little hip cuff strengthening muscles, the little rotators, those small muscles that you don't use often, really get the challenge to squeeze on the ball, holding the ball up with the bottom foot, holding the rib cage off the floor and pushing the back of the head into the hand. Lining up the knees with the pelvis, lift up from underneath the rib cage. Keeping the back of the head lined up with the back of the shoulders and trying not to sink in the bottom shoulder. We lift from the bottom of your waistline. Keeping the heels pasted together, we open wide on that knee. Try and press down in the bottom leg as much as you lift the top leg. Circle rotate. A little weight goes a long way. And we're squeezing the ball, maintaining a nice pressure in your hands, which strengthens your wrists. You're trying to lift out of the bottom hand so that you're not loading the joints underneath you. Press and bend pulling down on the shoulder, lifting up from the bottom waistline and keeping the top foot heavy to maintain your weight off the ground. This is great work for the upper body, great work for the core. And it's really all you need. Stability, lightweight, intentional concentrated focus training in those small muscle groups really makes a difference both functionally and aesthetically let's line up those knees with the pelvis back of the head with the shoulders lifting out of the bottom elbow external rotators and hips Hamstrings work to hold the ball. So many muscles working at the same time. You're really gonna get the bang for your buck for the time that you put in, in this little short workout. And pressing down in the forearms and wrists to maintain your shoulders in their place. We're working on the hip mobility, all those rotators in the hip joint get stronger and then the hamstrings have to work to hold the ball so it's many muscles firing together at the same time and this is your best kept secret this little tool make the circles big without swinging the back or swinging the spine or side to side we maintain a long line Think of drawing a circle with your knee. This tiny little prop is your best kept secret. It takes a short workout, intensifies it. A little tiny resistance with all the right moves goes a long way. Steady, stable, pressing down in the hands to maintain the shoulders out of the airs and sending down into the back. Big circles. Holding steady control. It's a great functional workout with a little added resistance. Get the tone in. And you send a long line through the spine, dropping the chest. 